Hey everybody, Dave Nassi here with Epic Guitar Instruction. How are you today? We are gonna have a great time. Let's learn something really cool. Let's learn the intro to Little Guitars by Van Halen. So with the acoustic guitar, we're gonna be able to come up with some pretty sweet sounds. We're in standard tuning, and some of these shapes that we use to play this song are pretty common, and they'll surprise you on how easy it may be. So what we're gonna start out with is this chord right up here. Now you can recognize this as like an E voicing, right? Just a typical E chord. But I'm, of course, I'm gonna to refer to it more like I'm in the 12th position because that's where my middle finger and my third finger are. So I'm gonna strum this. And that's how we're gonna start the song. We're gonna have one strum and we're gonna arpeggiate or play my notes separate. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna slide up one whole step and do the same thing. Now, the way we end this one is going to be a little different where I hit an open string, I'm going to hit a harmonic on the 12th fret. So that starts us like this. You can even go one on the low end there too. That's how we kick off the tune. That's pretty easy, two E voiced chords. We're going to arpeggiate them and we're going to slide it from the 12th position up to 14. So that'll be kind of cool. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take these fourth intervals and we're gonna slide from seven to 10. Then from there, I'm gonna just add my index finger down to reform that E voicing now, referring to the 10th position. So that's pretty cool, that's not so bad. I'm gonna do the treated exactly the same with the way that we play that. Now here's a different chord. Now these are pretty fun voicings and you know on an acoustic guitar my thumb I gotta say is really stable in the back of the neck. It's not so much straight up and down, it's a little to the side, but it allows me to put my pressure, like if you can see my thumb it's red <laughs> because of the fact I'm pushing so hard. So I'm gonna strum this chord, I'm gonna do some neat little intervals here, and then I'm gonna go to a third which is pretty cool. And that's gonna get us started before we get to anything fancy. So let's try that from the beginning and we'll just go slow and go through each chord so we don't move too quickly. So we have our E voicing here, arpeggiate, strum and slide. A couple of harmonics, I'm gonna slide. New chord. Slide, and I have my third chord. And it's cool because this is really suspended and open sounding. It really sounds kind of fun. You could add some harmonics on the uh, fifth, seventh, on the E and or B strings, and that'll be good there. The next part is really, really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack two different things at once. And what I thought would be kind of fun about this is to really break this down because we're gonna have to tremolo pick with our right hand, okay? And we'll talk about how to do this. But while we do this, we're gonna have to hammer notes with our left hand, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll talk about that in a moment, we're gonna talk about the left hand. Now, I have to hit an open string, so what I do is I actually just kind of hit the string. I'm on the fifth fret, but I'm not really fretting it. I'm just using my first finger to pop an open string. I'm gonna hammer four, seven, eight, 12, 10, eight, and back down to seven again. And that's how I'm gonna make that left hand work. Slowly, it sounds like this. Sure, it's noisy. Sure, it's kind of weird, but hey, you know, taking the unconventional and making it conventional, that was the beauty of Van Halen. So, do all these different things. I'm gonna do it again. Now watch, this one's a little different. Now I'm gonna go to the fifth string, 10, fourth string on nine, just like that. So that's gonna give me Sloppy, but that's okay. And now this repeats. And then I'm gonna go to a chord. So that's the left hand breakdown. Let's talk about what the right hand's doing. Um, this stuff is kind of crazy. Now, 
I've done my best to try to hold the pick like Van Halen. And, you know, let me kind of show you here with my body. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn ever so slightly so we can see this. I'm holding between my thumb and my middle finger because that's the way that he does it. Um, I was a huge Van Halen nerd, I still am, and I tried to mimic everything Van Halen when I was a kid. So I turn the pick really sideways, and I use a Jazz 3, right? I actually, at the beginning of the shoot, I thought about using a bigger one because I thought I'd have more plastic, but as I warmed up, it got to be a little bit easier. Um, I really crank that. Now, do you have to do that? No, man, you can go like this. It's all good. Just alternate pick that. The trick is, is you just really have to stay out of the way of what the right hand's doing with your left hand. So a lot of the times you're really, you're craning pretty far, maybe even more so than you would typically as you play that. So uh, normal type alternate picking. Watch the second string comes in. Third string. Then I'm going to go to a really cool chord. Now this chord is the 10th fret and the 11th fret. And that's the 6th string and that's the 3rd string. My first finger is angled to block the 5th string. And then you get all that. That's like one of my, I think, favorite things that he's ever done be honest because when you follow it up with this that's brilliant I love that so that's another octave kind of thing going down here or not another it's the first time it comes up that's an octave third finger middle finger block in the fifth string when playing things like this you learn so much because it's weird man you don't do these things normally So before we get to the very end, that's what comes after our tremolo pick sections. If you're enjoying everything that you're getting today from Epic Guitar Instruction, one thing that'll definitely be helpful for you if you need any help or assistance in your rock soloing or your blues soloing, and you just want that extra little bit that's going to help you out, we can help you. All you got to do is just click on that link that you see below. And if you click on that link that you see below, you're going to get a free ebook and video that's going to be fantastic. It'll guide you through all those important things that you need to know when you're soloing in a rock format or if you're getting to know some of your blues playing. It's great for you beginner players out there. And it's a free ebook and video. And all you got to do is just click on that link and it'll give you all the assistance you need with your soloing. So again, click on that link below. So to get back to the tremolo pick thing, if you want to do this, by all means, it's cool. It looks a little bit more like the part, but you don't need to, and that's the most important thing. Uh, alternate picking like this too, it takes a little bit of time. So if you feel that that's a bit troublesome, don't give up hope. Just kind of sit and watch TV and go back and forth with your right hand and watch something cool, and hopefully you don't bother whoever you're watching TV with. That's really kind of how I learned it. So uh, to get to the next part, we get to the very end. We're gonna talk about this type of F chord. mystical section of the video. So this is an F bar uh, type power, power chord, not a bar chord, Dave. It's a power chord, but look, I've got all these open strings that sound really cool, and I'm gonna play it just like this. One strum. Pretty easy. B power chord, but we're gonna leave it open-ended. And we get So you can see that right hand. And I'm going to go back and forth between those. I can be really dramatic. We're going to round it out now. A couple of power chords. Open strings. We like that. Like that. I'm on the F here. Now technically, I'm going to go up again to a G. Do these become more intricate chords than I'm currently explaining? Absolutely, but we don't need to worry about that because they're still cool. And we've got a lot accomplished there. So again, coming from this section. You can do a slide.
really fun way to kind of end the song. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is really a cool thing to teach. Um, I've been playing this for a long time, and it taught me a lot, for sure. A lot of dynamics that you can do with the acoustic guitar, some trickery with the tremolo picking. So everybody, if you like the video today, please let us know how you feel. Click the subscribe button for one. Please subscribe to the channel. We are working hard to provide you with some great video content every week, and you're always going to have something fun to play. So if you could click on that subscribe button, that would be fantastic. Like the video, leave us a comment, let us know how you feel, and give us your input, because we are here to help you, and we're here to show you these fun songs that we've all come to play and love just like you have. So thank you so much, and I will see you next time.